So let me now introduce my colleagues on the ground. Even though it's early morning, they're already set for a long day because the excitement is palpable as well. Sagai Raj is joining me from Bengaluru. Uh, remember, Bengaluru is where the Antriksh Bhavan, ISRO headquarters is. Uh, so our colleagues are there today. Sagai Raj, Anaga Keshav is one at one of the temples, as we can see. Prayers have been organized as well. Akshita Nandgopal also in Bengaluru. So is Anmol Bali in the national capital, where, of course, whether it's the Nehru Planetarium or other locations where people have gathered. A quick word from you, Akshita, first, because you are where the headquarters are presently. Uh, what is the day looking like? Uh, it is just hours getting closer now. That's true, Pooja. The calm down well and truly underway. Good morning to you. Good morning to all of our viewers. We're keeping our fingers crossed that today we get the best news ever and August 23rd goes down in the history books as the day that India touched down on the moon and left an indelible mark on the lunar surface. I'm standing here at the ISRO headquarters. Earlier, I was also at the mission control complex where all the ISRO scientists are seated. What you see behind me is the grounds where the media will be allowed in and also where, in fact, the uh, satellite communication also takes place. So all of that is behind me right now. Scientists have been uh, coming in from early in the morning. I landed up here at about 6.30, 6.45, thinking, you know, it's going to be completely empty. Should have known better, not just a huge media contingent, but all the scientists have already made their way inside as well. It's, of course, a hugely, hugely important day for them. And they're extremely confident, they're calm, they're collected, they're 100% certain that this time they're going to get it right. There have been, of course, a number of tweaks, changes that have been made from 2019 to now, from Chandrayaan 2 to Chandrayaan 3. And largely, the biggest, perhaps, change is that Lander Vikram has a lot more automated sensors, thrusters, and the likes, equipment that will ensure that the lander himself can see essentially what things look like and take a call of whether it's safe to land at that spot, whether conditions favor him or not. A number of issues here that scientists will look out for. The last 24 hours, you know, I've spoken to several experts. They're saying that what are the factors uh, uh, that, you know, one should consider about whether this will be a, a, a safe, smooth landing or not? One is, of course, about how the thrusters function. Second, the camera on board lander Vikram combined with the sensors, if he can ideally detect if there's any sort of problem on the surface, rocks, deep craters, to avoid all of that and ensure landing on a smooth surface, that's another factor. Third is lunar dust. This is not spoken about a lot, but there was a mission, I remember, by the United States, which was a failure because of the amount of lunar dust that it threw up. We're talking about a huge amount of speed and then it completely coming down to zero. So obviously because of that, there'll be a lot of disturbance on the surface. That's another big factor, which is where also so the climate on the lunar surface in the orbit makes a big difference. I know we spoke a lot yesterday, Pooja, about a plan B, about whether, you know, the soft landing could be pushed to August 27th because of a number of issues, particularly climatic conditions. At this point, it's clear Israel saying we're ready for the go-ahead. We've been given the green signal uh, and it will happen today. If there's going to be any change, we'll know maybe two hours before the actual landing time. So about 3 to 4 p.m. is when you'll have that 100 percent clarity but for now we're still saying there's no question of delaying it plan b not being put into motion for now it's very much plan a hope uh, that uh, plan a succeeds and i understand this is science all calculations and permutations combinations have been worked out